Hello again. Welcome back for our very last lab about finding modules. It turns out that once you learn to program in Python and you have a project where you're going to need a library to help you, you have to find that library. What should it be? It's not easy. It's your hardest task and you can't make a mistake or you and your team could waste months working with the wrong library. I'll give you my best hints. You can see all the modules that are currently in your computer. With a help on the string form of modules, be aware that if you misspell that, you're going to get the help for a string. Because if it doesn't recognize your modules, it will recognize the string notation. So that is a little bit error prone. Here is the start of my available modules. Because it is in the standard library and in your computer and easy to grab, don't think that it is necessarily exactly what you want. In fact, there was a time when my son and I were making an application that was about mail, and I was doing in Python the engine while he was doing the user interface. So there was a mail, or maybe it was an email library. And when I was all done and I was dependent on that library, I said to my son, okay, you're on. I'm ready. Test away. And the first email that he put through my program crashed the machine, the whole machine. And then I looked at the source code of that library that I was using. And any time you gave it an email, it made three copies. And he had first put through a whole meg, which was a lot in those days. But because the code was nicely written, I could read it and I could see exactly what I had to do so that I could read just one byte and push it down another socket one byte and have nothing in my computer. Besides the big list of the libraries that are available in your computer, we're going to find more libraries at PyPy. We're at python.org, which is your best link for everything Python. This is the official place. Almost always correct, except you do have to check libraries if your life is going to depend on them. We're going to talk about the documentation link a little, the community link a little, and the PyPy, Python Package Index. That's off python.org, which is where you went to download your Python. Looking at the PyPy link, we find we are invited to find, install, and publish Python packages. And at the moment of this printing, we see that we had 294,811 projects, and it grows. When you look at a package to think about building your life around it, be sure to look at the source code. Make sure it's something you like. Let's find help. You know the DIR and the help facility to get help. So useful. But also, you want to be very adept at internet searching for any question you have. You put Python in with your search, and you're very likely to, within a few seconds, find exactly what you're looking for. The internet being a wonderful democratic place. If you hover on documentation on the front page, you'll see Python docs. I have not heard of errors being in there. They are sometimes difficult to read, but they are correct. My best suggestion for people still learning Python is the community link on the front page. And you click on that, and you might see things you're interested in. But the mailing lists is the one I want to point you to. When we click on those mailing lists, you'll see there is a tutor list. That's the one you want. Because if you are in the nighttime stressing over your project, make a very nice message asking for help. Include a snippet that shows the problem, what you think should happen, and what is happening. Go to bed and forget about it because you will be helped. Through your nighttime, the European Python teachers will be answering your question. And they will be competing with each other to answer your question in the kindest, most complete, and helpful way. 
It is a wonderful resource. I have never seen them be impatient, even when I've asked the same question several times because I couldn't get it through my head. So that's where you want to go, to the tutor list. That's it for the class. I hope that you had a good time. And in the process, you learn to program in Python. I'm sure it will benefit your life immensely. Thank you so much. Bye.